Now is coming up on this week's episode to go with the heat. It's the last of our summer reruns of our Miami Vice Season 4 review. On this week in Vice, we're looking at the summer between Seasons 4 and 5. This week, we're taking a look back to September 25th to October 29th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, I'm setting all other news aside and really looking at a sports moment that shaped my life. On October 15th, the 1988 World Series at Dodger Stadium started. The series was between the LA Dodgers and my hometown heroes, the team I grew up just down the street from, the Oakland Athletics. Both teams were powerhouses and had two of the greatest closers in the history of baseball in Dennis Eckersley and Oral Hershiser. In Game 1, a crushing blow to the A's would come off the bat of Kirk Gibson, who would hit a walk-off two-run home run to win the game. The A's would never recover, and the Dodgers would win the series four to... You know what? I can't talk about it anymore. I fly ball. In TV news, on October 18th, the classic show Roseanne debuts on ABC. No political statement or pot shotting here. Just a reminder that the original Roseanne show in the 80s was some of the best TV ever made. Put all the personalities aside, the original show was as good as TV was and ever shall be. In music. Okay, there's a lot to unpack this time. There are four number one songs from a very, very wide gamut of artists. First up is the unique and could only be a hit in the 80s, Don't Worry Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin. It's not a surprise the song was created and it's not a surprise it's used frequently in popular culture. It is a huge surprise the song reached number one on the Hot 100 for two weeks. Skipping one I'm going to come back to, we go to Red Red Wine by UB40. This is actually a cover song, but might be the greatest cover song ever. Okay, second behind only Jimi Hendrix. It's a song everyone knows, but probably doesn't know who sings it. Up next is A Groovy Kind of Love by Phil Collins, which is also a cover song, appearing on the soundtrack for the film Buster. The song was extremely popular and held the top spot for two weeks. Now on to the song I'm most excited to talk about. From the mega album Hysteria is Love Bites by Def Leppard. This is easily my favorite song from Def Leppard and it's the only song from the band to reach number one. Even though it only held the top spot for one week, it's the perfect hair band feel song. In movies, as with music, there are a bunch of movies that would reach number one on this time frame. First up is Dead Ringers from the amazing David Cronenberg. This movie received high praise, especially for Jeremy Irons, who plays a dual role. Next is Gorillas in the Mist, starring Sigourney Weaver. Nominated for five Academy Awards, it's actually a mystery why it only held the box office for one week. Third is Alien Nation, which is probably my favorite movie of our selection this week. Starring James Caan and Manny Patinkin, the movie kicked off the Alien Nation franchise that includes a TV show, films, comics, and novels. The idea is often used and is now a sci-fi trope, having aliens attempt to cohabitate on Earth after appearing suddenly. Second to last, we have The Accused, starring Jodie Foster and Kelly McGillis. Jodie Foster would win an Academy Award for Best Actress for her portrayal of Sarah Tobias. And last, we have Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. And at this point, I'm just tired. It's about a guy coming back, killing people, yada yada yada. They're all the same. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals. Bye, pals.